This is Captain Jeff Maggio. I've been catching lunkers down here for 25 years. This is the Lunker Report. This week we got some lunkers, boy. We got snooks. We got tarpon. We got kingfish. And we got sailfish. Started off the week pretty strong with some boys from FSU. Wanted to get some big fish. Got a nice picture with my boy Matt with about a 50 pounder. His boy Miller got a 32 inch snook and it was strong. If you like catching lunkers, these boys like catching lunkers. The very next night on 3-9, we had people from Massachusetts coming down here to catch lunkers. I said, you sure you're ready, boys? They're used to catching bluefish up there. So, took them out. Hell over and lit. It was epic, my man. Epic, I'm telling you. 15 to 20 strikes. Within 15 minutes of being out there, we had our first fish to the boat, about 65 pounds. After that, those boys got a little bit more serious. They thought it was easy. They blew about 10 more, finally getting another one to the boat. The tarpon bite was epic this week in Hull Over. Fish shrimp and fish them on the bottom. After two pretty good nights of fishing, with the tide being correct, I figured I'd take a night off. But as you know, I just love, love kicking freshwater Rob's ass. Put a lunker in his face and a foot up his ass. <laughs> to give up. I drank 12 beers and about to throw up when I heard that drag start peeling off. It wasn't screaming too loud. It just went steady. Almost spilled the drink, but I was ready. I jumped up and grabbed my rod and said, come on! He pulled a neck and I could feel him tug. The rod backed over and my fist got stuck and I knew I was in for one hell of a sight. By. He's about to kick my ass, but I knew if I hold on, he wouldn't last. Hopefully, I'd have another hour or two in. Well, now five hours went by, and he was about to give in. I could feel him slow down, and I could taste the wind. If I could just hang on another 20 minutes. Sure enough, he comes to show his face, and I know it was a shark tournament. I get first place, but the first place. I had him next to the boat, and I looked in his eye, and it was up to me whether he lived or died. I figured I'd let him go so he could fight another day. But before I let him go, I grabbed my camera so I could show that the big old monster shark that I caught that night. And as he swam away, I knew he thought that he done got shamed, and he ought to stay out of my face, or you will be caught. Seriously, though, in closing, you know, towards the end of the week here, we're at uh, March 18th right now. You know, things got a little slow. We had a full moon, upside down tide, and, you know, fishing really kind of started to slack. But next week, whoo!